Good morning and welcome to Multiply Mornings. My name is Dan and today we're breaking down all the top stories from across the web. Starting off with Justin Bieber just being a baby. Me, right? Justin Bieber is in the news a lot lately for stupid stuff, and this one's kind of one of them for sure. So Justin Bieber has one of the most loyal fan bases, without a doubt. I don't know why exactly, but he does. We, he just recently got a little bit of a controversy because he stormed off stage mid-show. And why is that? Because his fans love him too much. Now what happened is Justin Bieber's in there, he's singing his songs, you know, baby, baby, oh. Yep, that was a bad idea. I apologize for that right now. So he's sitting there, he sings his song, he gets done, he's like, Yo, all my believers out there, just want to let you know, I love, I love, y'all, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying, I'm done. I'm done. Forget it. So what happens is Justin Bieber's sitting there, he's singing on stage, he gets done, he wants to just say a little word of love to his fans, connect with them emotionally, he says. And what happens? He straight up leaves the stage, storms off. So he storms off stage and later comes back and says, yo, y'all, I try to connect with you, I try to like impart my soul with you, and then y'all just yell over me, so the rest of the show, I ain't talking. I'm just gonna sing my song one after another after another. It is quite frankly one of the silliest things. The guy has this adoring fan to scream, and I agree, it could be a little annoying. I mean, you watch these videos of him being chased by paparazzi and fans, everything, it's crazy. Do not wish to have that guy's life. But in the same sense, they're your fans. They're going to scream. Most of them are teenage girls who have no filter. We're just screaming because they love you for some reason. And so, you know, I, I find this so silly. I find it sad. I find the way Justin Bieber conducts himself a lot of times to be sad. But let me know in the comments down below, guys. Is this just a product of fame? Or is this Justin Bieber being a little bit doom a cry, baby? Because these people have made him very wealthy and famous and everything else. So let me know in the comments down below, guys. What you think of Jay Biebs? I want to hear about it. And I promise that I'll lock up Danny Bieber for now, at least. And on to our next story, which is Michael Moore. Now, if you don't know who Michael Moore is, you're kind of lucky, but let me tell you a little bit about it. So he's this really liberal filmmaker who makes documentaries about several different things. Recently, has just launched just in this, what, 16, 17, what is it, like 15 days at this point to the election. He launched a documentary called Trump Plan. This is basically a pro-Hillary propaganda film. Anyways, in an interview with Rolling Stones, he says to them that basically conservatives and Trump supporters are just legal legal terrorists. We're saying that we're racist, sexist, and all other forms of just horribleness in this, and saying basically that anybody who votes for him is just a legal terrorist by perpetuating this ideal. And I tell you what, this is ridiculous. Utterly and completely ridiculous. Because you know what? You can't just call an entire section of people just because they disagree with your ideas. Crazy, terrorist, whatever. You can't do that. You don't hear me sitting up here saying stuff about Hillary Clinton like she's just this terrorist, even though she supports the murder of millions of lives every year through abortion, so on and so forth. So I find this so frustrating. I, I may be in the selected people who maybe some people do say, you know, Hillary Clinton's a terrorist, whatever. Under no circumstance should we do this. I think it's silly that we're in this position in our lives today. It's not just a conservative problem. It's not just a liberal problem. It's a culture problem. We're so culturally separated from one another that we can't get past this stuff anymore. And it's stupid because we're built upon a democracy, an agreement, a, 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 a joint movement. But yet now I feel like so much of what, so much of what the conservative ideals are on trial as is hatred when it's not. I don't hate anybody. I can I literally tell you with 100% certainty there's not one individual in this world who I hate. I literally 100% mean that. Now what I mean to say is that this whole idea of just hatred, blah blah blah, being perpetuated needs to stop this whole thing. I literally cannot be more ready for this election to be over. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I just want to be done with it because this is just so ridiculous. I'm afraid for what's going to come 100% but I kind of just want to be there because I just want to be done with all this rhetoric, this stupidity, this hatred, everything going on. Let's try to move forward in some way. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. What do you think about Michael Moore's comments? There'll be a link in the description down below to the article about it that I have. I'd love to hear your thoughts. On to our ridiculous like, what? Why? What? what? Story of the day. DJ, I'm going to say his name. I have no idea who this guy is. Kaled, which I have seen him before in several, like, I think he was in the newest Beats commercial. He's a huge Snapchatter. Blah, blah, blah. Literally Snapchatted his son's birth while playing his own record. What? 
Like, I have links to, I, I apologize, it's a BuzzFeed article, and there is language in the article itself, in the title, and so I apologize for the language, but what are you doing? I mean, seriously, this, I mean, like, I'm not, I don't know, I haven't watched the videos, I don't know how graphic they are, but just from the little thumbnails, they're a little bit graphic, I don't understand why in the world a person would do this, on any matter of fact, I mean, then they'd be playing your own music as you, it's just, I don't know, I, I digress, I don't know what to think about this, this is ridiculous, crazy, and I'm just a little bit bewildered about it, but let me know in the comments down below. Hello, what you think? Is this as crazy as I'm thinking it? Am I the only one who finds this weird? I'd love to hear about it. Comments down below. And moving on to our video of the day. This one's going to be a video by The Verge talking about the surveillance that's going on through social media. It's kind of interesting. It's a little bit left-leaning. It's a little bit of a position they're taking with it, but I think it's still an interesting thing to look at and think about. So definitely check out that in the, the links down below. And on to our focus, guys. I want to take just a few minutes. I want to talk about, about what God's doing and, and, a, and a presence of mind. And what I mean to say by this is like I'm still in Job because we have so much meat to talk about in Job. So I was I've been reading through and I've been looking at the stuff and, I, and the thing that started to get me today was I was thinking about Job's state of mind. You know, a constant. I think about in life when bad things come, good things come, horrible things, whatever. All of them we have to consistently have a state of mind to follow God. You know, it's so easy for us to get caught up in little moments in time, little troubles, little headaches, just to lose perspective. You know, to lose exactly where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to do. And I find that to be so true in my life that sometimes I, I get a moment in time where I think to myself, man, how is this happening? Why am I trapped here? But I lose perspective on God's great size and thoughts. Like God, God has got something going that I can't even comprehend right now. And so that's the beauty of being a Christian is perspective because everyone else is like you're lost in sea, right? You're out at sea. You have no compass. You The, the clouds are over the stars. So you can't see anything. And you're just sitting there and you're trying to figure out where land is, but you have nothing to go by. You can't see the sun, nothing. It's just dark. That's kind of like what it is to be a, to be in this world without Christ is that I'm in this world where I just have no idea where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. I'm just drifting. But when you're a Christian, it's like having the compass, having, your, the, having the stars to look at, having Having everything to tell you where to go. God has a great perspective. And so that's what I wanted to leave you with today. That's what I wanted to leave you guys with today because it's so important to gain perspective in this world, especially with stuff like this election going on and so much more. Have perspective to follow God in every moment because if you do, beauty and honor, glory, all these things come because you realize what's actually happening. And you have faith when you don't know what's happening because you know God's still in control. I I'm going to leave it there, guys. I appreciate you guys checking out this video so much today. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, let us know that you enjoyed it. And guys, I appreciate all of you so much. God bless. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.